Hello, you welcome back to Geekism and welcome back to Two Point Hospital, where we're here in, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting all excited, we're here in Flemington, uh, which is a uh, uh, posh hospital, posh patients we have here, ladies and gents, and um, we're going to try and uh, and cure them. We're working towards getting our marketing license, okay? So if you go on to enjoy this video, please let me know by clicking the like button. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, all you have to do is click subscribe. We're going to throw a few little benches here. I just realised there's very little waiting space for people, so we'll do that. Why are they a bit off-kilter? Yeah, that's better, isn't it? And then there's a, also a door on this side, so we better do the same over there as well. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I find that these sort of like corridors with uh, benches on seem to be a little, a little better than just having larger waiting areas. If I'm honest with you, I, fi I find they work a little better as far as the game mechanics are concerned. Um, Put one of those there. Okay, cool. So we did it. We did get the place started up and running last time. I don't think we managed to get. Are you? Are you our fault? Are you our? Yeah, you need a break. You don't really, though, do you? To be honest, with you. You, you, you're looking pretty good. Invalid navigation. Oh, you have GP. You have psychiatry. Are you going? Are you, you're just doing. You're on your break, aren't you? Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. Right. Okay. Look how lazy this guy is. Traits motivated and funny. You just you're just exhausted, aren't you? Well, go on, go and get yourself a break then if you need one. Uh, I say guys, a lady, sorry. Uh, right, okay. So let's have a look where we're up to. We need to complete the pest control research project. Now, what we could do is mm, not necessarily cheap, but we could jump into another. Uh, oh no, somebody died. Oh dear. We could have jumped into um, another hospital where we we're doing much better and use their research there and jump back again, but when, that seems a little cheaty cheaty, doesn't it, really? So we won't do that. Instead, what we'll do is while our research project gets underway, which is happening here, we'll speed the game up a little and we'll get our, um, we'll get our, our little set of clinics down here, all right? So we'll get a um, pans, uh, which one's this one? Lightheadedness. Clinic in the deluxe clinic. We'll do this. Okay. One thing I've uh, seen a lot of people having to mess around with online is trying to work out the best sort of combo of materials to use to keep uh, the prestige up in rooms. And it seems to be the number one thing is this one Gold Star Award. It's only 200 kudosh, but it massively increases uh, both room prestige and. Um, both room prestige and uh, attractiveness, really, and it's just kind of like the ultimate sort of item because it goes on the wall as well, so it doesn't actually take up that much room. So I think we'll probably use that as our next unlockable thing. Okay, but there we go. There's our little uh, deluxe clinic. Let's do a few others. Um, Pan's lab chrome we can do is pretty small, I think. Yeah, and then it, oh, we've got four before. We might just oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we get away with that being tiny? Because I think we need a oh no four by four is for the uh, pans lab so yeah we can we can fit this it's all good uh, door there we go ah we have animal magnetism it asked us to do that so that's good although it does mean that we're going to have to do something about it isn't it let's pause the game for a second while we put this in then there we go these rooms can pretty much match each other to be honest. Just with a bit of different kit in there, you know. It's gonna radiate it uh, there and up there. Uh, oh, we didn't put plants in. No, we should have plants, shouldn't we? Yes, plants on a wonk, please. Thank you. Plants on a wonk. Oh, what's it there? Oh, we've got a clock on the wall. Let's uh, put one in here as well. Oops. Okay, really happy to see that this game has done pretty well. Uh, I say pretty well, it's done very well. It's been gl Steam Global number one for a couple of days now. Uh, reviews are coming in thick and fast, really great. I'm just so glad that everyone's enjoying it because um, I'm quite invested in this one, to be honest with you, uh, just because of the uh, the great relationship that I've developed with the developers and uh, I've got nice early access for it and all that sort of stuff. And it's just great to see that um, you know it's, it's coming off. It's doing pretty well on the channel. 
uh, and I'm enjoying it as well. And that's the main thing. It's, it's a it's a difficult thing sometimes on YouTube because you'll you'll occasionally get a game that does awfully, but you really like it. And it's kind of a shame because you want to play more of it, but it doesn't do very well for the algorithm. And it's not just that, you know, I just want videos to do good because they earn money or whatever. You know, you want, you, you want your stuff to be seen by people. And also, um, this one doesn't actually need a console, does it? We'll just put the chair up in the corner here then. And we'll put a plant in. Uh, also, bad videos can do, can affect the whole channel as well. If you get some videos that do really bad, a YouTube will consider your channel bad and therefore won't show a lot of the other stuff as well. So sometimes you have to kind of cut a loss on a series that you're enjoying, um, you know, for the benefit of the channel as a whole. And then also occasionally, it doesn't happen very often, but sometimes a video series will do really well, even though you kind of hate playing it. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's a bit of a tricky one as well, because then you, you kind of make your mind up as to whether or not you want to sell your soul and keep playing stuff. Uh, for the for them views, or or kind of cut your losses and say no, do you know what? I'm not I'm not particularly enjoying this, unfortunately. So let's uh, move on to something else. Oh, I wonder what that noise was. Then it was a really weird, uh, really weird uh, advert on the radio. There we go. Okay, they're good. So yeah, but luckily. You just follow over then. Luckily, these uh, this game is kind of a nice mix of both. It's doing pretty well on the channel. It's finding lots of new people for us, and and, and regular geekisms are enjoying it. And also, I'm having an absolute blast. Um, send patient home because we're nowhere near. We're nowhere near discovering the cure yet, are we? Promote. Um, we need to research. Yeah, go home. Impress the VIP. Yes, let us invest the VIP. If we can't cure you, you might as well clear off. There's no point in sitting around for very, very little a in return. A film star? Wow, we. Diagnostics and general practice. You seem pretty awesome. And you've also got psychiatry. You'd be quite handy, actually. Do you know what? I'm going to hire you. Stick you there. Have we got a doctor in the... Ah, do we not have a staff room yet, do we? That's why that doctor was probably having a little wander around while he wasn't well. Let's get a... Um... Let's get a staff room open here, and i tell you what we could do. We could get rid of those, we could get rid of, we could get rid of that. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to, just trying to mix it up a little bit, you know. We'll do this, we'll do this, what we'll do. We'll add the door in. All right, we'll add a couple of windows in here. Okay. So we're gonna make we'll make a nice seating area up the back here. Hopefully, we can do wide enough to get everything in, because that's really what you want. You want the TV? Yes. This guy already knows there's gonna be a staff room here. I know it's cold, but you shouldn't have come over here, should you? Um, we're gonna put that in there. We'll move this over a little. There we go. We get a couple of bean, beanie bags in because they're awesome. I love them. And we'll get a lamp up in this corner here. Right, and then we'll put a plant there. Now if that doesn't look... Look at that, looks nice in my living room. Right. And then over here, we'll do uh, what will become a kitchen. At the moment, we're having just sort of sticking drinks and snacks machines there, but you can get a nice little cook uh, coffee pot and everything. Uh, so for now, it'll have to just be those. And uh, we'll put a clock on the wall here. Um, and a notice board over here to kind of say, you know, it's Debbie's birthday. Some thank you cards off, off people. And I think one more plant. Yeah, there we go. That is one of the nicer ones I've done. Look at that. That is, I'm so pleased with myself. Um, let's get rid of all these. All right. And we're going to edit this room by moving all this kind of stuff. Let's get rid of the door and move this kind of stuff here. Like that. Okay, move the window over there. Move the clock there. And move the door there. Okay, that's all I want to do for that for now. Oh, the windows are gonna have to go, but that'll do for now. Pest control, go home. Uh, like an three. that's good. That's a pharmacy one. We'll promote you. Uh, 19 days later, death will give it a go. Publicity update. Uh, Roderick Cushion didn't include his visit to the hospital in his public diary that gets published every week in the Two Point Squabbler. 
Can't have hated it, I suppose, but did he forget coming here? We'll need to improve the hospital if we want celebrities to remember their visits. Oh, wow, so that was an indifferent uh, review, I guess. Seven pages from what's done? No, we can't manage that. Because what I want to do is build a little staff-only staff, staff only toilet, you see. That's the that's the idea. We're going to have to edit this room. We're going to have to take the uh, the windows out. I mean, there is a window there, so it's going to be a bit of a boxy room, that one. But we'll manage. Toilets. Because we can stick a little toilet in here now, you see? Ta-da! There we go. And then we can have... No, gold toilets. Let's have a look at this. I don't think I've unlocked them. I think I have to re go back to the website and do it. Yeah, I have to go back to the website, and that's uh, a lot of people have been asking about that. Um, yeah, go back to the, go back to the website. Oh. Okay, let's do a bit of a different one. Let's do it that way instead. There we go. Somebody pointed out as well that hand dryers are completely superfluous, and actually, more sinks do you better in, uh, in better stead. So let's. Um, Let's keep that. It's a little bit open there, right down the, you know, you're walking down here, you're looking down the barrel of a loo, but what are you going to do? Uh, we need to warm this place up a bit. He's, poor guy's freezing on his break. There we go. That's better, isn't it? And we'll do the same out here. Just in case people end up getting a little bit wandering around. I'm trying to figure out where we could, whether we could squeeze a little room in here. I don't know what we would do. Maybe maybe just treat it like a little waiting room for these because uh, we've we've lost a little bit of waiting space here. So if we could put a few benches in here, that would probably make the most sense, I guess. Uh, hit, oh, is that what she meant by year review? Imminent, imminent. Open all. Nice employee of the year and the rising star for a first year. I I'll take that. Um. Yeah, let's do. Uh, are we are we in the middle there? Yeah, we are, aren't we? Okay, that'll do. And then we'll stick a um, we'll stick a plant there for a bit more attractiveness. If it stand up in the corner there, make it a bit more interesting for you. And finally, uh, we'll do a couple of drinks and snacks here. Beautiful. Right. Okay. Calm down. Uh, chromotherapy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, psychiatry. Yep. Yeah. Pest control, send it home. We haven't got it discovered yet. Promote. Promote. Okay, we're managing. Let's get. Let's head back to the main uh, area. Seems like we're doing all right. Seems like we're doing. Money's coming in anyway. Revenue is off the charts, to be honest with you. So, I think really, we should probably look at opening another area. And, and I don't know whether fracture wards are an issue here. It doesn't seem to be. What rooms have we still not got? We need to do a clown clinic. And we need to do, we'll put a fracture ward in just in case. Um, and then some training as well. Yeah, and that, we need to get some staff training. So let's do that. Let's have, um, let's open this one. 60. Is there a cheaper one than 60? Uh, this is the only outdoor, really. So these ones are the, are the 60, 50, 55. It's an awful long walk, you see, for them. But, well, what are you going to do? Let's open it up. Open it up. See what happens. Jacinta Bird. Uh, 90 days of their death. Again, we'll try. I don't know how we're getting on there. Uh, one thing I just thought. We hired a decent doctor before. Diagnosis, general practice, diagnosis. You're dead good as well. So I think we should probably go into there. Let's now have a look at our staff and see if we can line them all up a little bit. We've got six doctors. I imagine some of these are going to start getting a bit lazy now. Uh, not lazy, but you know, not not where they need to be. So, the ones with the diagnostics and GP practice, they're, even though you've got two GP practice there, you've also got treatment. I, Mabel Duvet. I think you're going to go, love. Sorry. I, I know that's risky, but we've got diagnostics and GP and diagnostics. So you are a GP, and our other GP is going to be. Oh, we probably really should have been Mabel, who we just fired. Can we hire her back? <laughs> uh, where are you, Mabel? I'm hoping you're in here. There we go. Can we hire you back? 
Oh yeah. Anywhere. Can we give you a <laughs> Can we we can't undo it, can we? Sorry, Mabel, it was an awful mistake. Um Alright, well in that case then, GP and diagnostics, you're gonna be our other GP. Alright. There we go. And then you can do Re Donald Johnson, you're our research guy. So you stay there. Um and then you two Diagnostics, GP, Psychiatry. So you can do those and then you can be a floaty curer. There we go. Should we do the same for nurses? We have a few nurses. So ward. Oh, there's so much stuff that the ward that the wards can do. So you do you do those the two wards. Your pharmacy. So you do pharmacy. Um yeah, you do pharmacy basically. And for now, you do those, but we might actually, oh, we might actually, uh, yeah, you do the clinics. We might actually have a, a third nurse while, what, is money still pretty good? Mm, money's pretty good. So we could have a third nurse who, de who deals more with um, treatment. That's a lot of ward, diagnostics, stamina treatment. Mm, so you're all a bit too good almost you've got like a bit you haven't got enough specific stuff you know uh, do you know what let's hire you as a floater just because i've noticed how uh, how short they are there right how are we doing here pest control research 77 percent not bad not bad keep up the good work uh heat oh i'm so sorry it's a bit chilly in the old uh, research room Ever sit down My words. A knife and a piece of wood. It's a very fulfilling experience. Anywhere else? It's a bit cold. These toilets. Um, and here, weirdly enough, we have one little just like dead spot of heat. Stick that in there. There we go. Much better. This is now open. That's good. They're cold. Well, if you're cold walking outside, there's not much I can do about it. Send patient home. We're not ready. Hospital attractiveness of 70%. No, I don't. We're, we've got too many more in difficult things. Seven patients with lightheadedness, no chance. Uh, fracture wards, yes. Um, get patients away. We will do fracture wards now. Rooms. In fact, what we'll do, we're going to move this ward. Oh, no, no, no. It would be so nice, I don't think we can do it anywhere, but it would be so good if we could say that this ward is for diagnosis, right? And then we could have another ward that's for treatment. I, I'm pretty sure that's not in the game, but that would be we, that would be really useful, actually, because I would have that as a diagnosis ward. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's come out of here and let's build a pretty... I mean, these are pretty big, these fracture wards. They, they, they kind of have to be pretty big. So... Put you there. We'll put a nurse station in. I'm tempted to get two nurse stations. No, we'll get one for now. Um, plaster caster may well end up being a bit of a bottleneck, but for now we'll just put the one in. Okay, and then we'll go one, two, three, four, five. This looks far too messy, doesn't it? We don't need anywhere near this many, I don't think. Let's go one two, three, four, yeah, five, that's it. Well, let's just move that one over. Oop. Let's just move that one over one, just so it lines up. Okay, five beds, that should be enough. And, we'll, and the good thing about this is it gives us plenty of space to uh, add in all our other gubbins, like radiators and uh, some lovely plants and things. Because we're only looking good, you know? Uh, windows. Let's get a couple along this wall here. I know they're not very necessary, but there we go. That'll do. Right, we'll make the um, the desk over here look quite nice. Get some drawings behind it there. Let's get a clock on the wall so she can see what time it is, or he can see what time it is. Uh, we could do it with the bin in here. There we go. Let's get uh, lockers. Apparently. Um, Lockers waste time. I've always been putting lockers in rooms, but they waste time because the nurses go over to them and wander into them. So we're actually just going to put the one down there for the nurse to use. 
But other than that, we're going to actually keep the place relatively locker free from now on. And like I said before, this is this is exactly why I, I like plants. I know plants need handymen to do stuff, but I like plants. So I'm not too fussed about using plants. Uh, but this is why it's great to have uh, you know the general public, so to speak, get hold of the game because they point out things that you haven't figured out, and it's uh, you know it's great. So yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, of people getting hold of it and figuring stuff out. Let's do three benches there. That should be enough. It looks like that's where that's going to have to go. Um, let's put a sweet dispenser. Yeah, let's put a sweet dispenser, but let's do it a bit further out. And we'll put a, a water. Uh, we, did, we did a lot of the water one, didn't we? Um, drinking fountain. Yeah, there we go. We'll put one of those in here just for a little change. Now, can we not? You two. Oh, we can put it there. Yeah, that's better. There we go. That's the song that's coming on next, I think. Our marketing director, Stacy, went to a holistic okay. nature. Okay. A lot of patients are queuing outside rooms that are run by doctors. There aren't any available. No, no, no. It's because we we unfortunately fired our good GP. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. Hello, GP one and two. Hiya. Who is the, who is the other good one? There we go. Staff. Docs. Jobs. Uh, GP GP GP. And you can do psychiatry. Yeah, if we only got one psychiatrist. Psychiatrist? Psychiatrist. Three GPs. Now, who was new then? Dahlia Dandy. Yeah, there we go. So we now have three GPs for two GP rooms. So there's always going to be a doctor hanging around. I guess. Um, we better hire a new nurse. Hmm. You'll do for now, Isabel. Oh no, there's somebody there. Are you more suited? Keep still. Keep still. I will pause time. Yeah, you're loads better suited actually. So you go in there instead. You just float. Staff promotion. Okay, we're gonna have to start looking at doing some uh, some training and stuff soon. I think. Babu, there's a bu building gets. Yeah, I think another GP's office is probably not a bad idea. Maybe we could move the. Uh, oh, we were gonna. That's what we were gonna do. Marketing license, nice. Okay, so um, pest control unlocked, which is another clinic. So we'll do a couple of clinics up here, and marketing as well. Then marketing, yes. Yeah. Why did we just lose about thirty grand? Um, injection room. Get patients away. Right. First of all, let's get something. I might as well get something else going here, haven't we? Fluid analysis. Injection room. We haven't even got it done yet. Start. Okay. You get working on that. Right. Let's get this ward out of the way. We'll move you down to here. All right. Pretty much a, a straight swap. Actually, no, not a straight swap. We'll 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 do this properly. We're gonna have. Mm, no, one, two, three. We'll have a toilet at the bottom there, so this can stay open that way. Oh, I meant to get rid of you. Thank you. And yeah, that'll do. All right, so let's move the door to here. That to there. That also to there. Radiators where they're needed. Okay, let's get rid of. Let's get rid of everything and start again. Let's see what we're doing. Right, window. You're the ah, you're the outdoor windows, right? Sorry, you're the indoor windows even. Um, these we need a couple of these because they become a bit of a bottleneck. That was pointed out to us in the last episode. And um, beds, then we can do quite a few beds actually. One, two, three. 
four, five, six windows. Like so. Uh, we'll have one locker for the nurse, but like I say, we, we, we are going to start easing up on, on locker usage now. Um, let's move all this so it's a bit more accurate. Uh, where's our nice little drawings there? Let's go, yes. Clock somewhere, as you can see what's going on. Let's have it at the end of the... That's quite a common place for a clock, I guess. Uh, bedside table, 50 kudos. Uh, no, I'm saving my kudos for something. I can't remember what it was, but we are, I am. I know I am. What do we need? Why can't we finish the room? Huh. Windows? Yeah. Beds? Yeah. No stations. Screens. Build room not ready yet. Is it because we're skin? No, I don't want to stop in the room. Is it because we're skins and I'm stuck with that with that room not built until we earn money? Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we're losing cash in a kind of big way. Yeah, there we go. Now we, now it can be done. Right, good. No, we're not losing cash. We're getting loads of money in. Okay, good. There's that. Windows though. Uh, hold on. Edit. Let's just move them all up to there. Okay, and then we can pop a little loo down here. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Shinks, shinks go on the wall there, and a um, trash down there, just because it feels like it should be done. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely it's money we're running out of. Look, that that went up and down then. Items. Bench. These are why are these not lining up now? It's hurting my brain. You can go there, and we'll have a little reedy reed thing here. There we go. How are we doing for temperature around here? It is it is chilly, so we can get one of you warm that up quite nicely. There we go. You can go there. Warm this area up a little. Yeah. I think we need another janitor by the sounds of things. Um, you, look, you seem pretty good. Let's chuck you down. Okay, injection room. Get, wait, wait, wait. Uh, training room, not now. And let's try again with this VIP. So we have a couple more. Oh, that's a new noise. Alan Donkle here with the technology update. The um, hospital has developed an ultrasonic cannon for those suffering from animal magnetism. Yeah, that's All us. Small animals removed by the machine will be rehomed. Ah. Wow, I want to get an animal magnetism in the in there. Now. Let's see what this does. Four by four. Okay, here we go. Wow. That's a bit of gear in it. Look at that. Okay. Um, ultrasonic cannon. Yeah. Let's put a uh, let's put the usuals in then. In fire extinguisher, um, radiator over here, I guess. Uh, one by the door. Plant short. In fact, it's another window to see said plants. And can you hold on there, whoever that is down below me, just looking all grim? And I, I saw you. I saw you. Nurses board and a clock usual. Uh, anything special for this room? Does it look like it? Okay, well in that case let's go for it. Oh, you're dying. Nice. Good timing. What? Who do you need? Ultrasonic cannon. Um, a nurse is on the way. Good stuff. Let's get a couple of benches outside of it. There we go. Okay, nice new thing set up and running. Here's the nurse. Who's who's in the queue? Queue queue length zero now. Nice. Uh, cure some patients. Yes, we should be to that. We should be sent to the psychiatry. Ah ha 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 ha! Oh look, <laughs> animal magnetism. They have little animals stuck to them. <laughs> Perfect. Let's close all these decks. I need to get a screenshot of this. Let's. Uh... <laughs> 
fantastic. How does this work then? Do you get do you get it? Sh <laughs> I love it. Hold on, let's uh there we go. There's the screenshot right there. Boom. Bob Ross on the cannon as well. Look at that. Ultrasonic the ah oh, they, <laughs> they just go into a hole in the ground. And then a little bit of uh dehumidifier. That is fantastic. Good job, Bob Ross. I love it. Okay, what was the other one we hadn't got in yet? It was the, the clown one, wasn't it? Pest control, practical marketing we haven't got yet, and training. So, clown clinic. Yeah. Well, that won't fit there, will it? That's a shame. Um, clown clinic, you know what? Clown clinic's one of those, one of those ones that really is... Uh, a decent sized room because of all the stuff you can unlock. So at the moment it's just this, but you'll see as as we uh, as we move on. I always put that the one way around. I always think that's the entrance, but no, that's the entrance. You see, see as we unlock a few areas of this, it, there's, there's so much more stuff. The problem is you do need you do need kudosh for it. Should we go for it? 85 kudosh. We can do cannon. We can do lights, and we can't do any of them. We can do one of them, but not the others. Hmm. I wonder if we've got anything on the career. Let's have a look. Are we close to anything? Train 20 staff. We need one more staff member to train, then we can afford the clown stuff. Okay, that's uh, that's what we'll do in the next episode. Oh, that stopped. Injection room. Get patients to wait. Uh, seven with pandemic. No. Money's quite low. I know! I know. We're, we're earning money though, look. 58 to 35. That should start to trickle in now. Uh, but we'll have to leave it there. We've We've made quite a big jump this level our GPs ugh right I'll tell you what we'll do let's help this out let's edit this up oh. yeah let's let, hold on before you, before you settle we're moving you to there right you're gonna go there no there yes there there we go uh, you go Nowhere. Let's just move all this out of the way for a second, because what I want to do is get a second receptionist in there. We are. Uh, yes. Beautiful. Okay. Charity mugging tub. How, where is it? There we go. Can we stick you in the middle there? Lovely. Flowers. More flowers. It must get weird for you. There we go. Voice coming out of nowhere every Higher. Uh, that. Who are you? What are you there? Marketing. Ah. Come on, hire you for now then, because since you're the only one there, I didn't realise that assistants need marketing. See yourself down, old boy. Um, we are going to move psychiatry over to here and stick in a third GP. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to move psychiatry to here behind us. Yeah, this is where psychiatry is going to go. It's going to become a much larger uh, room for some cool stuff. Because this is going to be the first hospital where we really sort of uh, make sure that we're doing um, the looks of places right. Okay, so for now we'll just kind of hash the, uh, the the new size, but we will come back and fix that later on and then that means we can get another little GP in here hopefully calm down the queues a little because my good god they're, uh, they're queuing it's going to be a slightly longer episode so apologies if you weren't hoping for that and if you were well good for you there we go office desk uh, okay a couple of filing cabinets in there we go Let's do this one. We've got this one down now, haven't we, GPs? Uh, as much as I would love a copy room button, we can actually knock one of these out pretty swiftly, can't we? Let's be honest. Um, one. Nice little solid level three. Pretty much know exactly what we need, don't we, to, uh, <laughs> to do that. Um, I think we should have a spare dock but if not let's have a look gp yeah yeah you're the one you're the one in you get go for it 
Cool. Look at all these people backing up into the uh, GPs. Hopefully that'll start moving through. And what we can do eventually, you know, is rejig re diagnosis over to here and have five GPs instead. You know, it's very manageable. We can do stuff about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really helps out the channel. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, don't forget to click subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop those down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. My god, look at this. Um, you'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.